What's this? This is Kona coffee. This is among the most expensive coffee in the world. It's supposed to be among the best coffee in the world. What? And it's created and grown in the Kona region of Hawaii. Which is and like the champagne. Yes, it's like the champagne of coffees. Okay, I gotta cut it. In the same way that champagne can only be called champagne if it's grown in Champagne, France. Wow. Kona coffee could only be called Kona if it's grown in the Kona region of Hawaii, which is on a volcano. Oh. And it's extremely... Oh, oh my God. Oh, that smells different. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's it like, is different. It's, it it's, is bizarre. Yeah. It's that not your is. average. Yeah, get it in doesn't, here. It doesn't smell the same as normal it's, coffee. So usually oh. when I look at coffee, I'm looking for notes like chocolate, truffle, uh, and a certain amount of like, like oils, like maybe like or like rosemary or some sort of. I don't even know how to describe this. This is earthy. It's it earthy. That's the word. So it's like caryophylline, but there's something more like special sun. If I'm being honest, it doesn't have the immediate like. Ooh, that's nice. No, it doesn't. Like it's we, different. The Italian espresso oils yeah. often have more punch in the face. This has like this. You know what? This feels like Hawaii. It's earthy. You know, oh, how, you know how you open, man. you know how you open a bag of coffee and you're like, oh, that smells so good. Yeah. I don't get that. I get like a different vibe from this. This is like leather. It's like it's earth like leather and leather. And yeah, and like like a like chestnut. He's the chef. Like chestnut, like yeah. chestnut, like some sort of nut. Yo, I've never smelled a coffee like that. <laughs> Me neither, yo. Me neither. Should we try this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. It's special because the minerals in the volcanic ash and in the volcanic soil. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, it's volcano. almost like smelling carcinogens, but good. that's exactly it's, what it is. It's good carcinogens. That's exactly what it is. Whoa! It's like smelling like volcanic ash almost. I know that sounds weird, but like. But like no. a sweeter chestnut version. Yeah. Okay, we gotta try it. Blessings. Oh wow! So the head is great on it. I'm getting more sour notes. And like a little lemon, like a little citrine, like a sour lemon is coming through when you mix it with water. Wow, mm, beautiful. Let's see what the espresso tastes like. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, it's gonna sound bizarre, but the low sweet notes that you get on like <clears throat> cooked beef ribs, <laughs> like that caramelized thing, is in this coffee, like this sweetness. It's funny you said that. Originally, I was gonna say it smells like meat. It smells like meat. Like that's <laughs> the most weirdest thing to I say. I was gonna coffee. say that, but I didn't want to sound like, crazy. Caramelized meat. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Let's see what it does with the uh, with the cappuccino. Cappuccino. Beautiful. This is uh, attempt number one here. How does it compare to other cappuccinos? Try it. I think I got mostly head on mine. <laughs> that is so light. It's very light. It's like honey. Very light. It tastes like honey. Extremely light. As far as how it interacts with the milk, with the espresso, with the cappuccino layer, it's like almost not espresso-y dense enough, but it fits right in there because of that deep grounded earthiness. It like provides that lower end. It's airy. Hmm? It's airy. Honey, light, air. Wow. Yeah. It comes off as burnt to smell it. Right. When you brew it, it smells like more lemony, citronini, and when you taste it, it's like mid-range honey. This is crazy. <laughs> Come on! Okay, so we'll just rock. Wow. I am a light bee. I am a type of a light bee. I am a light bee. Yeah. Come get beside me. I live life on a screen. I'm building every dream. Energy to come freak with me. Energy or frequencies. Whatever way you prefer to say that we're not just DNA. I'm getting the chestnut. Right down the center of that chestnut again. This is a yeah. this is a nutty sweet I'm getting touch of earth. You're right on the earthiness. That's what the chestnut is. It's very earthy. Mm, What's mm. that? What am I tasting? What velvet. is that? Velvet linalool, lavender. I'm the tasting floral? something. Hold on. The sweet floral? There's a touch of floral in there. What is that after? Something's wrapping my tongue. Yeah, linalool, lavender. 
something or, like or that. Or are you talking about the citrony? I don't know. It's, it's I sip lemony, it, and then afterwards it feels like my tongue like velvet. It's, it's, it's a like touch it. of bitterness too. Yeah. Wow. The oils have actually like collected around the side, like you poured olive oil in the cup over the coffee. Holy. 